An ebook landing page is a single page designed to promote your ebook. It could be that you want visitors to buy a new ebook that you've just written, or maybe a free ebook that you want to use as a lead magnet to capture their contact information. In today's video, you will learn how to create an ebook landing page in WordPress. I will walk you through the process step by step using a plugin called Seedprod. By the end of this video, you will have learned how to import a professionally designed template, how to modify it, add your content, set up your favorite emailing marketing service, configure your page settings, and of course, how to publish the page itself. Hi, my name is Chris from Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress. Seedprod has a built-in drag and drop editor that lets you build many different types of landing pages quickly and easily. Please subscribe to the channel for more easy to follow tutorials and learn how Seedprod can create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to install the plugin Seedprod. So I'll leave a link in the description for you to download Seedprod or you can come over to seedprod.com and you want to click the orange button up here to get Seedprod and we're going to be getting a pro license to use the full features of the plugin. After you have an account set up with Seedprod, we're going to come over to the login page here. So go ahead and click on login. And on the left-hand side, we'll see the email address and password that you used to sign in with. So enter those there and then click on login. Inside the seed prod dashboard, we'll have a downloads link. Let's click on this little tab link right here and we'll click on the big orange button to download the plugin itself. And now that that's completed, we need the license key as well. So you can click the little icon here to copy that or do it the old fashioned way. We're done with this window so we can close this for now. And let's come over to plugins and add new. And then we'll come to upload plugin and then the choose file. So you can click here to choose the file on your hard drive, or you can take this and drag and drop it right on that little button. Now we'll go ahead and install now, and we can click on activate plugin. Next, we can just paste our license key right here and click on verify key. If everything goes well, you should see a green success message up here. We can close this little tab on the bottom if you have this. So now on the left hand side, we'll see seed prod in the menu. So we can click on pages. And then we can see all the, the different modes here. And I have tutorials on the YouTube channel if you want to check those out that go through some of these. And the landing page is what we want down here. I create a new landing page. So click on this button. And now it'll ask us to choose a new page template. So we can create one from scratch with the blank template, or we can select one. These are all the professionally made pages that are all mobile friendly as well. So they're safe to use for your projects. And now if we click on sales, they actually have some specific ebook examples. So here's one here. Down here, there's a picture. You could just replace the text quite easily. Here's a beginner's guide right here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to select this one, the mastering book, and we're just going to edit this. So you can preview it if you want by clicking the preview button or the check mark to import that. And we'll just give it a name. So whatever you want to call it. So something related to what you're page is about and then just click on save and start editing the page so there within minutes we have the plugin installed and we have a complete design already set up we just need to make our modifications with this so we can just edit the current design we can delete sections we can add buttons different blocks images star ratings opt-in forms whatever we want videos you can completely customize this to look however you wish so this template it already has a nice call to action button here for you so to purchase the book on Amazon it has a preview of the cover, preview of the different chapters, if you wanted to use these and just replace the images and the text and what you'll learn. And then again, just images and some text here and about the author with a nice signature image. And then on the bottom, we have some reviews that we can change. So just to show you how easy this is, these are just blocks. Everything's just a block and there's rows and columns and sections. So we can actually, let's just pretend that these stars weren't here, but let's say you wanted stars. So, well, on the left hand side here, we have a star rating block that we can just drag this over. And now you can click on it and there's a little cog wheel here. And each block has its own setting on the left side that you can go through. And they're all very quite easily to understand and adapt and change to your situation. So the scale, this is a zero to five. You could put 10 if you want or we can keep it small to five and then you can change what rating you want. You can also add a label if you wanted to put something there and you have an alignment and you have the size of it. So you can make it a little bigger and dramatic or smaller if you want. And you can put the space in between there. Under the advanced tab, we have topography, which doesn't really matter for this one specifically because there's no font on this. And then we have the star color. So we could change the color of this to match your page. Maybe you want something specific and then spacing down here as well. So this is the margin on the top and different padding here. And now since that's centered, maybe you want everything centered. So we can just align all of these blocks right here just by clicking on them and changing them. 
And if you want the stars back up top, you can just drag and drop that right there. And then we can just like simply duplicate this, drag them over, delete the block here if you want to do that. And do the same thing for these here. And there we go. We just quickly and easily modified this whole section just a little bit, nothing too crazy, right? But let's say we don't like the colors and we want to change the color scheme. There's two ways to do that. So we could click on a specific button or block or text. And then we could go to the advanced options and change the color of it here. We also have templates of how it would look. So if we want a yellow button, these are some pre-made ones that come with seed prod. So we could change the look at those as well. And then you could go under advanced and change the color here, but we could also clear this. And then we have down here in the bottom left global settings and we have global settings for fonts, colors, our background and some custom CSS. So let's go for our colors here and you can see that this is a black, gray and red color scheme. So we can change these with our header color, our text, buttons and links and background, or we can select a pre-made color palette here. So maybe we want something that's completely different. I don't know, maybe something a little bit blue. You can see how the button updated there. Now this is a background image, so you'd want to change that to match your colors. But everything else you can see adapted to that color scheme. So this specific background, we could just click on that for this section. And then we have the same options, just the same thing as we did for the blocks as well. And then we could just change this color to something a little bit different that matches the style. So with the images, they're quite easy. Now this is about the author. So this would very obviously be a picture of you or whoever the author is, but you can use stock pictures as well. So you can click here just directly on the image and then you could click the delete button and you can use your own image. And this will be a picture that you upload to your media library, or you can select a stock image. So I just selected person. Again, you wouldn't do this for the author. It would be somebody, you know, whoever you are. So let's just pick this guy with that magnificent beard. And now we have a picture in there. So maybe you could use these stock photos for some type of graphics or style on your page itself. So up here we could make some changes. So maybe this section here, we could change the background. So you could delete that, upload your own picture if you have a background image, or I could select one. Let's do something that's white or a light background. And this one looks like it has a book already in it. So let's select that. So it's kind of a pretty nice background. And you would upload a picture of your book or whatever you have a cover of, but maybe we want to change that too. So I'll just look for a book quick and I'll do this book here. Maybe it's a adventure book or some type of self-help or something. I'm not sure. But then we go under templates and we can just change the look of that quickly. You can see the white border around there, which looks nice. But now we have some green colors in here. So we could come over to our colors and we could change the color palette. Maybe something that's a little bit more green. I don't like that one specifically. That one's not bad. I would change this background color though. We could come in and now we can fine tune what we want to actually look like. So I'll just pick a white color, or white background on that. So there we go. We can save this page and we can preview that just to see what it looks like in the browser. So to me, that looks pretty nice so far. And then again, I'm just showing you an example of how you could constantly tweak these. So these obviously have red color attached to them directly on the block. So you'd have to go in and just change that specific text right here. So to change that red, you would just click on this and come in the little, what you see is what you get text editor and highlight that text. You have a little toolbar toggle, so you can click on this and then there's a text color. So we can click on this and then we'd want some type of green color or we can create a custom one. So I'll select this one here and now you can see that just changed to green. So we don't really have a place for an opt-in form, but if you did want one, you could just drag and drop it into your landing page so this doesn't look great here and i'm just showing you an example of it so wherever you want to place it and then if you select the cogwheel you have the same type of options over here so if you want the name or the email we can hide the name if you just want the email address and then you have the size of the form that you could change as well you have alignment and this only works if it's not full size we have the submit button what you want the, the text to look like so join our email list or newsletter, whatever you want to say. And then the width here. So if it's smaller, now you can align it in a different direction. But full width for me, it's fine. And then at the bottom, we have a success action. So after they hit the button, what kind of message do you want to give them? You can also redirect them as well. And like most blocks, there are templates. So you can change the look and feel of the form itself.
Now let's say you want to hook this up to your favorite email marketing service. You can come up to connect here and we have a list of specific services that you can connect to. So one here is constant contact and you would create a account with them on their website and click connect and then create a new account. And on the website for constant contact, they will provide you with an API key. And if you're not sure how to do that, they almost all have documentation on how to get that API key or contact their support. And you'll just paste that in here, give it an optional connection name, and then hit connect. Now we can check out the page settings here. So we have general SEO analytics, scripts, and custom domain. So on general, we have the page title, which we've already entered, the URL that you can customize, the page status, which I just leave alone, and then I control that right here when we're complete. So I can publish it and make it go live. We also have the Cprod link. This will show a Powered by Cprod link at the bottom if you want to show that. And you can join our affiliate program and get a 20% commission. And you just put your link right in here. We have isolation mode. So this will just enable the specific plugins and code that you need just to run the landing page. So it avoids conflicts with other plugins and WordPress functionality, if that would be a factor. Under the SEO tab, you can install all-in-one SEO, which is recommended by Seedprod. Under analytics, you can install Monster Insights. And we have scripts. So if you need to copy and paste something specific from a service or another plugin, you can add that into the header, the body, or the footer. All right, once we're complete and we're happy with our landing page, we can just save that again. And we can go to publish and then see the live page. And there we go, we have a landing page for our ebook that we customized pretty nicely. I didn't change a lot of the text, which is easy to do as well, as you've probably noticed. But we did customize the colors, the images, the background, and I think it looks pretty good. And to manage that specific page, if you go to your WordPress pages on the left, you will see it here, and you can view that, and you click the edit with Seedprod, or you can come to Seedprod specifically, and you'll see that landing page down here as well with some options for subscribers. So you can trash that or edit it, whatever you want to do with it, it's up to you. I hope this video helped you learn how to create an ebook landing page in WordPress. Now that you have a fantastic ebook landing page, you may want to learn how to create other landing pages as well. Check out this video if you'd like to learn how to create simple landing pages in WordPress using Seedprod. You could use these landing pages for almost anything you wish to sell or promote. This video will walk you through just how amazing Seedprod is for building many different types of landing pages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.